In August, 200 boys and girls from 11 countries are expected in Rwanda, where for a week they will participate in the Giants of Africa festival, showcasing the different cultures of their countries. At the launch of the festival on Thursday, President Paul Kagame pointed out that Africa's youth should not let their talents go to waste. When you're talking about uh, Giants of Africa uh, and the festival we are going to have here, it's a reminder, uh, first of all, that you young people are giants in the making, which means there's a lot of work you have to do uh, in order to fulfill the enormous potential uh, you have and see across our continent. So the importance of this moment is that we are clear about that path and uh, we don't take anything for granted. So we have to invest ourselves and do what needs to be done and especially uh, take uh, the opportunities availed to us like this moment, like what uh, this festival holds for many of uh, the African young people who form the majority of uh, of the population of our continent. The president of basketball operations at the Toronto Raptors and founder of the Giants of Africa Youth Basketball Program noted that Rwanda was chosen to host the festival because of the country's achievements and also shared of how the idea to construct the Kigali Arena was first born. A few years ago, um, we invited the, the president to the All-Star in, Tor in Toronto and um, he came and he spoke with us and he came to watch the, um, the, the dunk contest and the all-star game. And during the dunk contest, um, he had a suite and he sat down in the arena. And I kept going back and forth because Toronto was hosting the, the, um, the, the all-star. I kept going back and forth and coming to check on him and one time, I, a couple of times I came to check on him, he put his head down and I was thinking, okay, has the cold in Toronto got to the president or like, what have we done wrong here? And I came, I asked him um, what, what was wrong and he put his head down and he said to me, um, what would it take uh, to build an arena like this in Africa? in Rwanda. And look at where we're sitting now. Youth present called on other youth on the continent to properly utilize the opportunities they have. In Africa, where we can look and be proud, but mostly in Africa where we don't make excuses, we act. And through Giants of Africa, we looked at all these long-term goals and we wrote down what we wanted to achieve, but we also looked at role models who inspire us and drive this passion. And admittedly, one of mine was President Kagame. His benevolent leadership. You, sir, are benevolent. You, sir, always look for the best in the worst situations. You, sir, are not shy to engage in conversations that challenge the stigma that makes Africa look underestimated and wrong. You, sir, are a perfect example. And I'd like to thank you for being the voice of Africa. The president also assured those who will be participating at the Giants of Africa Festival in August that they will be warmly received in Rwanda. The people of this country, we, we always leave uh, history behind us and keep going into the future, much as we draw lessons from that. But our people are people uh, of high ambitions and uh, they work hard, they want to be happy. Uh, even with uh, those uh, challenging circumstances they have had to deal with or still have to deal with, uh, of course. So I just want to tell everyone that um, uh, they will be most welcome and they will feel it. The Giants of Africa Youth Basketball Program was started back in 2003 by Masai Ujiri with a mission to use basketball as a means to educate and enrich the lives of African youth.